Hello! Um, today's oil painting video is a bit different. We're going to complete an entire model for once, minus the base. And it's not a Warhammer figure. Uh, this is going to be the first in the Reichbusters uh, board game by Mythic Games. Um, I've yet to actually play it, even though I got it on release, well, release from the Kickstarter. Um, the models in it are 32mm Weird World War, and they're, they're really nice. There's some really awesome looking models in there. Um, but yeah, let's let's get on with the painting. So what we have here is one of the German soldiers uh, Not Nazis, but that's not a thing in this anymore um, Yeah, so we want to start off by doing the cloak in our turquoise color We're going to cover the all, all the, like the cloak areas the trousers um, because these guys they aren't your normal German grey, they're more of a turquoise colour in the art and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so we're going to get that effect. But yeah, over the entire model, cover it in the turquoise. Um, speed it up, here we go. But yeah, after we've done this, um, what we want to do then is, it's been a bit weird, but we're going to bring a bit of black into it, just to neuter the colour a little bit, aiming to put it, to blend it more into the recesses, so I'm just kind of like jamming my brush in there a bit more while doing this, just to cover the whole thing. So it's just going over the same area we've already been over. Once we have done that, we then want to start bringing in our highlights, which is quite simple. We just start mixing in white into our turquoise and steadily bring it up at aiming for the higher areas and anywhere that might catch light. So focusing in on like the, the fold of the clothes and stuff like that. Um, and just keep going through this a couple of steps and that will help build it up. You can actually use the side of your brush to catch the edges of the folds and stuff like that. It makes it easier than trying to use the point, which you'll see me do. Slightly sped up here.
And then for the last bit of the clothes, the, the clothes, we actually want to get some of our some purple just to bring in like a contrasting color into the shadow. And you just aim for basically going for underneath. So if you were to turn the model upside down, just aim for everything that way. Just blend it on in there. It helps build up that lovely contrast for the model. Our next step is all the lovely black. So we've got his, the gun, the pouches, his boots, his helmet, his little neck thing. Um, so yeah, we're just going to hit all the model, all different areas in black from there. The next steps once we've done that are just to start, as always, building up the highlights, aiming for the edges, and we're just mixing in white, just to build it up through the through the grey, we say, through the greys up to our white. Again, especially on the gun, using this edge of the brush to catch those 
the raised areas and the edges and stuff. The face always proves a challenge, adding in the fact that we're trying to uh, do it under a camera and such made it a little bit more difficult. <laughs> um, so what we did was we put our basic flesh tone in, mixed it in with a little bit of brown just to give it, darken it down a little bit, covered that and then started blending the highlights up. If I felt like it went over anywhere. Um, just bringing some of the, the brain back into it. What you want to do when thinking of a face is your highlights are going to be the nose, tops of the cheekbones, chin, kind of all the areas that catch the light. So you can use the shadow to define the cheekbone area and around the edges of the nose and the, the mouth, like under the nose and such. Um, the eyes, eyes are a wonderfully fantastic challenge. So fortunately the model's mostly hidden by the helmet. What I did, hit it with a black into the eye section, then dotted in the white because then you've got the, the black gives you the ring around the eye, the shadow. The white brings it back in, slightly off white. And then you want to try to get a very thin line of black in there. It takes practice. Um, we have the advantage with oils that we can use a brush like a 10 0, a very th fine brush. So go for it. Give it a go.
our final bits are all the weird little extra elements. So what we're going to do is use our light brown color and that will be hitting the handle of the grenade and all around the um, goggles holder. From there, we'll then be using a green and then mixing the green and the white into it. And our golds are quite simply the brown and then build up the yellows. We just go around the model. So, is it all sped up doing all that? I did this, uh, yeah, so this video was done in a different format to how I usually did it. I filmed it and then added voiceover. Um, if you like this format, please say. If not, I'll go back to the old one. But I hope you find this helpful and I hope you enjoy using oils. If you haven't used them before, go back and have a look at my video on where to get started. That'll show you. Uh, what you need to get going. Oils are not scary, oils are good. Thank you very much and have a lovely day.